about our fifth week. It's kind of hard to tell with like, uh, you know, you start the week, the first week of school is like a half week, but you don't really do anything. So like, I consider this like the end of the first full month of work. You know, like we've gotten through the uh, the welcome, the introduction, things like that. And ultimately, the first month is essentially straight technique and things that I've been drilling with all the classes. So I'm looking at these classes and from what I have seen, they are all pretty much at the same level. They're, what they have been taught is very minimal as far as technique and what they should be doing and how, uh, how they can do these things. So it's kind of an interesting point. It's like everybody's at zero. So I've been teaching all the same thing across the board, but different levels. So everybody got seventh, seventh through twelfth grade all got one point perspective. You know, this is a horizon line. This is a vanishing point. You uh, make the shapes or the subject matter. You find the corners or discernible sections of the. Uh, the shape or the subject matter you connect those points to the vanishing point this tells you how things d diminish as they go or how lines are affected by space distance mostly so if you're doing a bed you would draw the rectangle that is close to you and then draw the vanishing lines which are the points between the corners and the vanishing point and those indicate the direction of the edges of the bed as they go back in space and then you figure out the parallel for that which is if the front of the mattress and the back of the, the mattress are parallel then both lines need to be drawn in the same direction and then you erase uh, any extra vanishing lines past what you need. So all the classes were taught this from 7th grade through 12th grade and some of the kids are able to take this stuff and move quicker with it. They, they, are, they understand the concepts and therefore you can go into more uh, in-depth things like indoor, outdoor, two-point perspective, start talking about three and four-point perspective, things like that. But ultimately, you follow the same order of operation. You establish a horizon line or figure out where that was. Maybe you can't see it from the vantage or the window that your, your paper is showing, right? Because like the picture is an indication, a window of the perspective. This is the frame that I'm looking through. So there's things that are existing beyond this piece of paper, but this view, this way I'm seeing it, things is from this vantage. So that becomes the paper, the picture plane. And so the first order of operation is figuring out your orientation. What is the best vantage for the idea, the understanding that I'm trying to show others? So you can do this vertically or portrait or horizontally or uh, landscape. You could use other shapes, but those are the two primary uh, drawing artwork vantages, right? The portrait or landscape, the vertical or the horizon. So that's the first choice. Then you decide where the horizon line is. Do I see the horizon line in this from this vantage or not? But more times than not, you are going to see some kind of horizon line. You are going to see uh, some kind of perspective. And if you're standing in the middle of something, that's a one point perspective. If you're looking at the corner of something and your perspective is split, that's a two point perspective. If there's something really high, that's a three point. If there's something really low, uh, it's a three point. But if you can see up, down, left, right, basically a fisheye lens, uh, 
then you have a four point perspective. So depending on the class, you go anywhere from one point perspective in real basic to four point perspective, which would be the advanced perspective. And teaching these things all at once, you, you've got this circle education, you know, the spiral education, I believe they call it. So you're touching on something, and then the next year or the next class, you touch on it again, but you go into the next advance. But considering that these classes are all baseline, it's measuring where they all go. And this has kind of been done before, you know, Victor Lohenfeld uh, was the first recorded or the most notably recorded person to analyze the ways that children develop or progress throughout their lifetime, their uh, stages of development, you know, like there, there's a bunch of psychological uh, therapists, theorists that came up with these different levels of development and art does just that, but you literally have a physical uh, manifestation of that process as opposed to like uh, uh, Erickson who has like general ages and then these habits might appear or they might be skipped over or they might be in different combination, but these are the, the rough ages in which you see these development. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that have a problem with that because ultimately it's not concrete, you know? It's uh, it's not 100%. There, there are variations and uh, um, anomalies, advances, uh, those that need uh, remediation. But ultimately, since the, this school has not had any of these uh, this experience, this type of education, this is all relatively brand new to them. They, they might know something about it, but it wasn't in-depth enough that they retain the information or more so knew how to make it into practicality. And things like the sky touches the ground or, or uh, meets at the horizon line or the, the, the grass goes this high. Uh, trying to get kids to talk in first person view and not bird's eye. These are all manifestations of uh, undeveloped uh, understanding of the art world. And this translates into other areas, you know, like if you look at the uh, areas of wellness, like the, the primary five, the physical, mental, social, emotional, spiritual, all those things need to grow in order to uh, exceed into the next threshold, the, the next level of understanding. But if something in those developments are lagging, then that constrains or holds back uh, the other areas of wellness because all of these areas of wellness need to be utilized uh, together uh, to reach higher understanding. You know, if you if you can't manifest the language, then you're never going to get it to be higher, more highly developed or the understanding. So you can have somebody that can function uh, doing daily life, but if they understand higher function uh, math, science, social studies, art, whatever, uh, their wherewithal, they, all this becomes a necessity to teach all these things. And art ends up being a physical manifestation that talks a lot about these things or can be recognizing a lot of these things. So the if you look at artwork, you you've got the physical, the my ability to control this uh, utensil to make marks accurately on this page. You know, that that's the physical. And the mental is being able to comprehend or direct this physical manifestation like the picture in here has to match the movements on here so you got the physical mental 
the emotional is how do I feel about this? Like you're you're dealing with a lot of emotions because you're you're taking your your inner perspective and you're putting it onto a piece of paper that others can evaluate and see, critique that they to see if they understand what you're saying. Is what I'm saying up here coming out here and are others able to understand it which also dips into the, the social like the social and emotional are very tied because if you don't have the social skills how can you de deal with your emotions and if you're you don't know what your emotions are saying how can you deal with things socially you know that's why people get mad that's why people act out why don't you get this why don't you understand I don't know how to communicate any better than this I'm running out of words so you've got the physical, mental, social, emotional, and understanding all these things, the way these all manifest is the spiritual, the how do I understand everything? So these artifacts, the, these, these remnants, the, these uh, cross sections of students' lives that are told on these pieces of paper become exceedingly important vital to understanding who these people are and helping them to develop because when you see these things you understand where they're lacking and their behaviors their ability to communicate these and like take all these emotions that they're having and then focusing it into a means of language exercises the idea of what am I thinking like what do I understand what do I feel like I need the words I need to be able to communicate but I lack this so if I lack this I am not able to conduct myself I'm losing my mind I'm feral you know if you if you teach them how these behaviors go or what they're feeling or or means to communicate then all these emotions become filtered. They, they're able to process these things. And you look at some of these kids, and what's happening here is just flushing straight out their mouth because they're not thinking about what they're saying. They're just enacting. They're, it's, uh, oh, what's that term? It's uh, inquit. It's a thought not fully formed. It's like, I'm just, whatever is happening up here, I'm letting it go outside of my body in one way, shape, or form, either through my mouth, my movements, whatever, because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do with all this. So in order for us to deal with anybody, we need to be able to process these things. And this is what the education of art in schools, uh, it's its purpose. Like, so many people are un undereducated or unknowing, ignorant people about art do not understand what its purpose is. Like, and it's something that you gotta wrestle with. It's something that you really gotta develop in your mind because if you don't understand what art is, when a kid asks you, what is art? And you are like, well, we're making pretty pictures. That doesn't cut it. But the other pro problem is, it's not a one word answer. Uh, a kid asks me, I don't know what to do with art. I don't know what art's for. And I'm like, do you want me to explain it to you? And I said to him, art helps you understand you so that you can communicate it better outwards it's helping you to understand how you fit into everything else and to help others understand you and i don't know if i dumbfounded the kid or what but he seemed to get what i was saying he seemed that to understand that this is some kind of communication this is some kind of importance Maybe he just didn't want to argue with me, or maybe he didn't understand what I said. But ultimately, uh, I worked with him then, and I kind of showed him and talked it through. And there was a registration, and this hasn't been the only case. 
there's been so kids in a it's been a one in one endeavor like I've tried to do a broad uh, instruction but the focus isn't there they don't know what I'm talking about they say it in their little kid language uh, literally like the the words they're saying is I don't get this you know you don't get what it's any of it it makes sense because they need to be shown one-on-one. -on -one. They need to be talked to uh, as individuals because as a group, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to focus. They don't know how to listen to this. It needs to be on their terms specifically. And so once this understanding comes, like dialing it back to this process of step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and just drilling it. Because ultimately you have to build this foundation before you move on. And right now, uh, there's kids, I see the kids that are getting it. And the kids, there's a lot of kids that ask a lot of questions or uh, really put their work into it. But there's a lot of kids that just don't know what to do. Their conduct is, they don't know how to communicate. They just know how to watch their cell phones. So it's getting to, to bring this full circle, it's the fourth week. So all these techniques have been elucidated. They, they, it's been explained to them. I've worked with more than half the kids individually. So there, there's an understanding, a comprehension that's happening. So now it's a means of critiquing. You know, it's getting, we've just had our mid-quarter reports going out and there's gonna be kids that are unhappy with their grades because they just haven't done anything. And other kids that uh, are starting to get it and starting to have motivation. And so the critique, the, this is, here's your grades. But this is what this means. This is why you got this. It becomes the the next step. The uh, this is the communication. So let's look at your art. Let's take some examples from your class, and we'll talk about these things, and we'll get you to the understanding that you can communicate this to each other. So what does this mean? And the critiques need to be nurtured into a positive atmosphere. So let's look at these things. I know it's scary to show this manifestation of your skills, your development externally, and for others to see it. Judgment is scary. Like, what do you think? And building this means of you need this information just as much as they do. I'm explaining this through their work. This is where they're at. We're trying to get here. If you're not doing this, you need to do this too. This is how you can do it. Let me take you through. You're not the only one. You might be not be the one, but there are others. And that's the only way to improve. If you're doing this already, great, good job. You understand this. For those of you who don't, this is what this means. And then taking them through this level of development together. Did you put a horizon light in? No, do that now. Did you put a vanishing point in? Did you not put that in now? Did you uh, make the, a shape of something that you want to make dimensional? Are you? What are you making? Let's start with this. Let's go back to this. Let's drill this. Let's get these fundamentals locked in. Let's drill, drill, drill until everybody's there. And if you are there, great. Take the next level. Now you can do your own stuff. Okay? Use this. Make your own. And that's really where it, where it needs to get is good education is getting kids to a point where they don't need their teachers anymore. That... They are educated well enough that we are a good teacher works themselves out of a job. 
which is a funny thing. Oh yeah, you don't need me anymore. Great, see ya. But that's what graduation is, you know? Building a, developing a child to the point where, okay, you're going out to the world and we know you'll be fine. But these fundamentals are not there. And these are just conduct things. Like, why are these kids so loud? Why are they running around? Why are they, why are they not able to focus? Oh, you don't know. And that's what education is, is like not getting upset. I mean, you do. Because you're like, why don't you know this? Because they've never been taught. So then the job becomes remediation to the point of catching people up. So the critique then would be the next phase after all of the fundamentals, the techniques. Because once the critique's there, then there's the level of reflection. Now you go do your own and we'll, we'll come in for the next critique. Like, and there'll be a thirst for it, really. Like, what do I do now? What do you think? Am I communicating this through my work appropriately? Do you understand? And if you don't understand, how can I help you understand? Or how can I show this better? How can I communicate better? It's teaching empathy. It's te teaching community. Society. But only through critiques and the ability to be positive, not canceling, not shutting down, not uh, making people feel bad for their incapabilities. Because if you just keep making fun of them, or if you don't deal with this, if you don't address the hard truths, then nobody gets better. So there needs to be that two-way street of... I need to understand you to communicate with you and I need to understand me so I know how to help you and we need to work together. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for your time and your attention. Do more, do better.